So this is my haul today. Um, this is my silver bracelet from my Pen from Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair. I don't remember which um, which merchant sold it to me. It's been a while, but it's one of my favorite bracelets. Um, today I am doing my makeup so I can go out there and get more makeup jobs. Hopefully get more wedding makeup jobs. So wish me luck and you know can't dreams are nothing if you're not worth working for them my dream is to go to Paris and to go to London and to go to Ireland to travel and do different things and I'm hoping that I can get more makeup jobs and I'm hoping I get more subscribers to this channel so stay tuned Say a little prayer for me, and I'm going out there. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you if there's a video idea that you would like to see, um, please leave it in the suggestion box below. Or if there's anything I do you have more questions on, absolutely leave it on the bottom of the page. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. If you're ever not sure what to pair a lipstick with, start with the lipstick. We're going to wear a little bit of foundation on our lips. So it mutes out the lip color and gives you the boldest and the brightest and the most true form of that lip color of the lipstick. It creates the most neutral white canvas for your lipstick. We're going to follow this with a universal pencil. I've mentioned universal pencils before, but I don't think I ever actually used one. You just want to kind of follow your lip, the outside of the line. And what it does is it creates a barrier to stop your lipstick from bleeding. You can also use your universal pencil as a lip primer. Doing this now, I realize I should have exfoliated my lips first to get rid of the dread, dead, dry skin, but kind of in a rush today. Normally, I do that. I ex grab a tiny bit of olive oil, a little bit of sugar, tiny, tiny drop. Rub it on, pick up the dead skin cells, and then blot it. Use your chapstick, use your primer. Completely up to you. I'm going to go over a lipstick and you can do this with a lip brush or a lip or a tube, whatever you feel the most comfortable with. I'm going to take a light pink and go right on the apples of the cheeks, there we go.
and someone's talking to someone on Facebook. Wish I muted that. Oh well. And we're gonna take our darker pink. Okay, fishy face. Go in the hollows. Whatever you wanna shade to make it more beautiful, you work upward. Take a brush and blend. Into Today I actually do have eye primer on, unlike some of my videos, but, you know, depends on the day. Sometimes I do these videos and I don't go anywhere afterwards, so I don't bother with the eye primer. And we're going to take our darker brown. And work it go up and over. And if you ever have trouble finding your eye crease, just feel along your eyeball and you can find it that way. And if you ever feel like your eyelids are a little bit smaller, just draw your crease a little bit higher and just blend it down. Take our blending brush. Underneath my eyebrow is a little, and above my eyebrow is a little bit of Benefits pencil that highlights eyebrows. I don't know why I can't think of it at the second, but I'll remember it later. I think it's called highbrow or something like that. It's a great one to disguise, you know, that in between waxing phases or. If you ever screw up your eyebrows and you need them to grow out, kind of pencil them in, fill in the shape of where you need them, and then use your highlighter to hide the extra hairs that are going to eventually be part of your brow shape. Now today we're using our pencil on Rockstar, which is like a purplish brown pencil, kind of like a plum color, where plum and brown meet. Oh, I do use more gel liners than I normally do pencils and the reason for it is the gel liners are kinder to your lashes and I feel like I move quicker with the gel liner it just brings me back to art school when you have that brush and paint in your hands I'm doing the one thing I always talk about hating watching on videos. Huh. 
Hopefully you're not like me. My eyes sometimes tear up watching other people put on mascara. But it's funny though because I can go in, put mascara on someone and not even blink. Maybe it's because I know the uh, rule of mascara and sensitive eyes. This is the, the rule is this. Support the eyelid. So that way, the eye can't go fluttering everywhere, and you're less likely to tear up. And you can easily just kind of lift and hold. You're not pulling. You're not really moving it. You're just you're just holding it. You're like you're holding the eyelid's hand. Wow, that came out really cheesy, but anyhow, that kind of thing. And I've started putting tea tree oil in my mascara because I heard a rumor that it makes your eyelashes grow more. But I don't always wear mascara every day. Now, if it's a day where, so I work in a salon, you know, we have Mondays off, so... On Mondays, I'm not always wearing makeup. A handful of days where I go makeup free, give my skin a breath. You know, I don't wear that much skin makeup. If I'm going to wear foundation, it's going to be mixed with a little bit of sunscreen, a little bit of skin boosting antioxidants. Sometimes I mix it with the primer, and that's my slap on. Or I, you know, wear tinted moisturizer. I don't wear a ton of makeup on my skin. I think that taking care of your skin is a large part of your health. And it's technically part of your immune system. I'm gonna go back over my line. And there we go.